My name's Kay Taylor, Managing Director of Jawad, and this first session that I'm recording is about Belody. Taksim Belody. I want to share my favourite piece of Belody with you um, and go through its structure, look at some of the moves you can use, and um, explain how, how it works. The piece of, mu of music that I'm using is an iconic piece by Mustafa Sachs. And it's, it's a track I came across in the 80s when I visited Luxor and I bought a tape. Do you still remember tapes? Um, and there was this track on it that I just love. I loved it so much that I transferred it from um, tape to CD and from CD to digital and onto my computer. And I still use it today. And it's a track I often uh, recommend to people that are first getting into Belody because it's, uh, it's so great and the sections speak for themselves. Taxime Belody starts, as the name implies, with a taxime. Now, a taxime is a solo instrumental section and it allows the musician to showcase their skills and for the dancer to also showcase hers. Taxine Belody uses lots of smooth movements, undulations, eights and circles, and stays fairly on the spot. This is improvisation, not choreography, and we'll look at some of the technique separately. Listen to the rise and fall of the music and you can hear the music winding down as it comes to the end of the tech scene. Now we're going to break down some of the technique. So first of all, I'm going to look at the movements used in the taxim. So bear in mind, this is not choreography. So you practice the moves, you assimilate them within your body, and then you allow yourself to dance to the taxim. First of all, shift your weight from side to side and feel it transfer from foot to foot. Then transfer your weight forwards and back and feel it on the balls of your feet and your heels, keeping your bottom tucked under when at the back. Shift the weight around into a circle, being careful not to let it tilt as you go so it stays flat to the floor. It's where you keep the bottom tucked under as you take it around not allowing the pelvis to tilt. Just moving it back a bit so you can see the feet as well. And step together, step and change. And adding in the hip circle as you step to the side. Step and together, step, together, step, together, and step, together. Now I'm varying the size of the circle, allowing the rib cage to get a little bit involved as I stretch it wider, and then making it small and contained. You can play with the different sizes and also change direction at different points. Follow along and get the feel of the circle as we travel from side to side.
also turn round with the circle, allowing the hips to lead the way. Have a look at the feet. You turn and together, turn and together, turn and together, depending on how many circles you want to do to get round. straight from the back, taking the circle slowly, four to turn round one way and then four to turn round the other way. And again changing direction but this time we're going round in two. And the other way, one and together, two and together. Let's alternate, two, three, four change, one, two, three, and four change, one, and round, two, and round. There are numerous things you can do with the circle. Take it one side off center and round, or play at the size with the size of the circle, and also changing direction. Practice by yourself, trying the different variations and make some up of your own. In the next tutorial, we'll look at tilting circles or omis and undulations to help create your perfect tack seam.